Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I would like to show you how you can use um, our new map widget to create interactive maps on Datacake. So in here we have um, different kind of devices and they all have a position, so a geolocation field. The following things I'm going to show you are working with any kind of device on Datacake. So just make sure it has a location field, um, but you can use it with LoRaWAN, MQTT API, whatever. Um, so. First of all, let's create a new global workspace dashboard. In the sidebar, we go up, press on add dashboard, and we are calling this overview map, for example. Also, we are going to make this public because there are a couple of new features for public maps. The link will be created later, and we press on add dashboard. So this brings us to our dashboard directly, and we can start, go ahead and edit it, and bring a map on here by clicking on the edit um, button. This will bring or turn this editor into edit mode, and you can see here different layouts and also the dashboard meter with this link here. So back into edit mode, and we are going to create a map now. So we press on add widget, and we're going to select the map. This brings up the configuration model, um, and first thing that we do is we jump directly into the data tab, and we're going to select our first device which we want to display. So choose the kind of device from your workspace, and then also the location field. And as you can see here, this um, has been adding, this was editing, adding the device to the dashboard. We are going to add um, another device like device number seven and also the location field. The distance is a little bit more so you can see both devices and also like a third one. Um, let's take sensor number three um, and also the location. We press on save. And that's what we have here right now, our first dashboard with three locations. So a couple of things that are new are, for example, if we zoom in here, um, a lot of you have requested that there are more or different or higher zoom levels. They are now available. And you can see the sender name and also the device, or so the device name and the field name is attached to this dashboard, to this map. Also, what is super new is that this map widget is now interactive. That means you can click on one of these devices in here, and this will bring up um, a sidebar which will show the device dashboard, the mobile version of the device dashboard, including controls um, and individual dashboards and so on. Um, also, there's this hot link um, in the name here. You can press on that, and this will bring you into your device directly. And in here, if you change the mobile layout, let's do this once here, delete the headline, this will also define the dashboard, which will be shown here on the sidebar. So reload once more, go into one of these devices, and as you can see, the headline has been removed. Yes. Also, there are a couple of new options available. So first of all, let's go back into edit mode and edit the map widget once more. And under appearance, there are a couple of options like overwriting the text and so on. For example, if you have this dark outdoor style, um, you can now choose white text color and white icon color, for example. And also, you have the option to override a manual start location. We don't want this right now. Then it just scales automatically to the available po data points uh, or devices on the map. And you can enable this um, option here, which will make the device sidebar available on public dashboards. So we're going to set this. We press on save. As you can see here, the text is now white. We are going to um, copy this link for the public dashboard. Um, you can find this here under edit dashboard meta. And then we're going to copy the public link. Yes, it's copied now. Now exit the edit mode. And I'm going to open this link up in a new incognito window so that we make sure it's not signed on, a signed on user. And if I'm going to open this now, I can see the dashboard I've just created in my um, browser. And also the functionality of bringing device details in the sidebar is still available here um, on this version, and you can simply click on it, and it will bring up the devices uh, dashboard. Yes, that's it. These are the new functionalities, and I hope this short tutorial was able to show you how you can use the new map widget. Um, last but not least, I want to show you something that we've been working uh, also on, which is a bus tracker, which is just a 
demo of how you can enable fleet tracking functionalities with that magic, uh, widget. And as you can see here, we are having a map um, of devices, so public transportation devices. Um, they are set in a city called Münster, and we are recording the transport location on the public devices, the buses in here, and also the sidebar is available in here. So you can use this new cool map widget with interactive functionalities for your devices on Datacake. Um, you just simply need to create a new dashboard, select the devices, and everything else like the sidebar will happen automatically. That's it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.